Hello everyone, welcome for a quick short video. Just want to introduce to you all about uh, the upcoming training on Feb 22nd. Uh, what we're doing is a weekend training, so three weekends, Feb 22nd, 23rd, and then the first weekend of first and second weekends of March um, is when we are doing the AIML with Python training. So at a high level, these are the contents of what we would be covering in this um, three weeks uh, program. We primarily would be meeting for about four hours uh, each uh, day of the weekend uh, with maybe a couple of breaks in between, but the intent is to take us into a journey where we cover a lot of significant topics that are critical for our career success in uh, 2025 and beyond. So let's take a quick look at what we're going to cover and how it's going to look like. Um, and maybe a few FAQs that will get you help started. But once you join the sessions, it should be easy for you to start relating with it and so on. So we'll kick off with Python fundamentals team. I know I've repeated or conducted um, ample number of Python trainings, but it's always good to begin with the basics with uh, the latest versions, latest capabilities, uh, but ensuring that uh, we look at our fundamentals from a programming, from a data and how we interact with our uh, various files and so on. So we're going to work on that and there will be exercises and projects towards each of these topics that we will cover team, uh, which you could probably finish during the weekdays and we could review them when we meet again on the weekend. Uh, this is a beginner level topic, so anyone who's new to IT coding background, I wouldn't say will be able to master or grasp everything in the first session, but if you repeat the same training or a few more practice exercises, you should get there very quickly team. So we should be able to finish this within about a couple of hours. The next I wanted to focus is a lot on the API side and especially with how we can use Python requests to be able to start understanding APIs, how they work and how we can integrate it with our AI tools also. So the lot of tools that are coming in place, um, I mean a lot of every new tool that's com coming in place, especially in the LLM side and so on, are having their APIs available for us that we could really use well. So while you're doing free accounts or uh, premium accounts with tokens and so on, you can really control them. But for that, let's get our hands strong onto API and how we use Python to automate APIs um, and how we can you know, execute various LLM tasks or even test APIs using this uh, uh, simple learning that we will do. Prompt engineering team for primarily to make sure that when we look at LLMs or like chat GPT, DeepSeek and Copilot and so on. I just mentioned a few here. We will explore a lot. What is very important is the initial prompts that are being given to us or that we are giving to the tools and what they're coming back. So there's a lot of questions around hallucinations where you ask the same prompt or the question to your AI uh, chat bots. Um, and each time you might get a different reply or a different response. Uh, so the correctness and validity is something that you have to check. But as a user, as we go futuristic with adopting and using AI tools, your skills on how what a good prompt is, what a bad prompt is, how we put context into it and how we make sure that we leverage uh, the best output that these chatbots could provide us. So that's something very interesting team. Uh, we may not, we will do this as a separate topic, but as we do even any of the other sections that you see, uh, we would definitely might want to uh, keep looking at how we can use chatbots to help in today's world. Going further, data sciences or how we look at analyzing data or visualizing data using existing Python libraries. So these are some of the libraries that have become very popular and uh, we will use them extensively team in not only the projects that we will do or practice that we will do uh, but also as we incorporate uh, various new models into uh, play so panda numpy scipy primarily what we're trying to talk about is data right from an n-dimensional array 
and how you can use compute uh, computation on a um, lot of these scientific uh, data or be your constants and so on. So this becomes very important team how this built in libraries or uh, additional Python libraries that you can um, import and install in pip install and then um, import it into your code uh, gives you this capabilities and built in libraries. So your awareness of if I am given with a data question or a challenge on uh, what to do with my data and that is where your skill will come as to instead of you having to rewrite using basic Python, you can use these libraries and their inbuilt capabilities. So we'll explore a lot on that and the same with visualization. So matplotlib gives you some good um, graphs and how you can use uh, your data to be in a representational format. We will also explore some other new tools that are coming across as well. These trainings will continue team. So as you see the concepts and fundamentals might remain same, but tools, technologies, libraries as you go into the future, we'll keep adapting them. The same thing for uh, machine learning and uh, deep learning team, how we use scikit-learn, uh, TensorFlow or PyTorch to really go deep dive into algorithms and build um, you know, deep learning models, how we can get our neural networks to be uh, set for us. So those concepts are important. These topics are a little advanced and would take a little bit more effort and timing, but that's how we plan the entire uh, journey uh, of this six sessions or three weekend training program. Uh, very quick few FAQs. You can read through this, pause the video later, but um, prerequisites, like I said, a lot of us might be beginners. Some of us could be advanced. But at the moment, we will go through a flow. If you're someone who's new to it, you might want to repeat the batch, do a little bit more practice. So someone who's a little bit more expert into the IT industry could take maybe two, three months to get the initial grasp of it. You could take longer, uh, but continue doing it because this is our future. Training cost is part of the membership program team. So instead of charging per training, we basically give you access to all the content with about 70 odd courses. And this will be a new course that is getting added. There are also lifetime and existing members who will continue to have access to the videos and be able to attend the live trainings. So that's something you can explore in the um, premium membership or when you look at go to IT learn and try and sign up. Career roles team at the moment. I don't want to overemphasize on this, but the intent would be that we will go strongly into the AI data science or ML engineering side. Now, would there be profiles? What kind of a job? And if you look at these days, how the JD comes, job descriptions come for project requirements, you will understand that there's, there's a huge set of tools and technologies. And every major software player, retailer, or product, or a SaaS company is getting their own AI enablement and AI features into the market. So you could have multiple roles. You don't have to purely be an engineer. You can continue to be, let's say you're a DevOps or you're a developer or uh, uh, SDET or a test automation quality engineer. You could continue to go deeper in your spaces, in your own domains, uh, in your own tech stack. So that's something you could evaluate. But otherwise, even if you're someone who's not yet or re-looking at reinventing the wheel of, you know, let me start with something in the AI space. That is what you're looking at in AI ML engineer should be a good role for the training. Videos will be available team. We'll do live. I know um, I've set up early morning Pacific. That's where I live in Los Angeles. Um, it's a little late night for India. East Coast should be comfortable, I guess, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, however, if the videos will be available and when I and I'll keep redoing this batch team. So once you remember, you should be able to attend as many number of sessions as you can. And each training as we go through, I might incorporate different examples and exercises. And so that'll be interesting for you to also um, get the grasp of it. So sessions will be there. Live will keep happening. So repeat them, practice a lot. And I think within anyone who's looking to do really well in the uh, today's artificial intelligence and machine learning space can give it about three to four months a strong solid effort and you should get there team 
if you're already someone who got a little computer science or coding or tech background job placement and career guidance so th this is where we're getting creative all of us it's not just me uh, where we can use our ai tools to help us leverage our uh, the entire roadmap or journey to finding a good career either you're already in a job and trying to upgrade your skills and might continue or someone's looking out um, you need to adapt team but what's important is we'll add some live projects to it um, we'll talk about how that can go into your profile and how you can feel confident about talking about what you've done in it and also a lot of instructions and resources where how you could go through your entire presentations of yourself um, interview handling and so on some of the tips guidance is that a lot of videos are existing but we'll recover some of these um, some of the FAQs, but you'll find some more in it. If you still have a question, please email me at on learn at itlearn.com. Learn at itlearn.com. And hopefully, a lot of you have emailed me back about this upcoming training. I will send this video. If you still have a question that is not answered, team, uh, let me know. I uh, will look forward. So, what we look at so far is a level one training. And uh, once we finish this, we will get into a level two, which will be a little bit more advanced and when i say advanced it's just about taking the next steps team it doesn't matter if it climbed 10 steps or thousand steps it's just what is the next step a thousand and one thousand and two that way so i mentioned a few uh, technologies and uh, key buzzing uh, areas in today's domain but as we explore i'm still trying to make sure and design that we have the right topics that we can handle in the level two so we'll continue to work on that. But otherwise, thank you. I look forward to seeing you live on February 22nd and we'll interact more. Take care, team. Have fun. Bye now.